Okay, we're back again. Um, today we are going to turn this little 9 by 9 meters courtyard into a one point perspective drawing. Um, if you take your scale ruler and use the 1 to 50 um, scale, you can see that this courtyard is 9 by 9 meters and you can divide it exactly into squares. So, for instance here, alongside the pavers, um, yeah, well, you can just divide it into squares and that will help your drawing. So I'll just explain to you what we're looking at. So we've got, first of all, a big um, two meter high block and plaster wall. There's a little square window in here. Um, then we've got some lawn, we've got uh, some pavers that serve as stepping stones towards this paved area. We've got um, a seat, timber seat. Behind that is another raised planter with pleached trees. Um, you should have all the heights and other information on your drawing. Um, there's also a raised planter in the front with um, a tree sticking out of there as well. Um, okay, first thing we're going to do is draw the one point perspective um, grid. So for drawing this grid uh, you start off with um, a line in the bottom of your drawing. And because it's a nine by nine grid we want to make this we want to make this grid as, as big as possible. And if you use your 1 to 25 um, um, 1 to 25 ruler, you can divide it into nine spaces quite easily. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, okay, we are also going to draw our vanishing point now, and we're going to do that at three meters high. Um, again, it's a little bit higher than eye level, but we just end up seeing so much more, which is always nice. So, and we're going to connect these points, as you all know by now. Okay, and again we are going to decide where our um, first line is going to go and that determines everything. So um, I will I like to use the one that's kind of most skewed. So if I go a little bit up you can clearly see that this would be a rectangle. So if I go down again that, that looks more like a square. So I'm happy with that one. So there's my first line, and uh, let's find the other ones by going through, right through, and putting a diagonal line there, right through. And we're already almost done with our grid. Make sure you keep your ruler very parallel.
there we go. There's a nine by nine grid. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, okay, so now the next thing I wanna do before we get into the height of things is to draw all the footprints of everything that's on the drawing. So that's gonna be a little bit of a puzzle, but it's gonna help you. Um, okay, so let's just start in the front. Um, all right, we're gonna go straight into the most difficult area here. So let me just see if you can see this. Okay. So we can count. You know what? No, we're gonna start with the with the walls. So the walls are 200 deep, 200 wide. Yeah. So everything we can we can just work from the front and get the exact um, measurements. So this would be 200 here because all the front of our drawing is perfectly to scale, and that will help greatly. So, there's a wall, and there is this wall. In the back it becomes very, very, very small, and we can't measure that. But we can kind of see how big this um, the square is, the furthest back, and um, the wall is about well, is one fifth of the width of this square, so it's really, really small about there. There you go, that's the footprint of our wall. We can also draw in, well, we actually know that the window is going to be here. You can note that down. Okay, now let's do um, this mowing strip here, which is exactly on this edge here, and it's three, goes to this point there. So that's the outer edge of that. And it is also 200 wide. There. 